So you want to start creating more reels because you know that they're huge right now in increasing your visibility and growth on Instagram, but you don't feel like showing your face every day. So instead of posting reels, you post nothing. Trust me, I know how that feels and that's why I wanted to create this quick video to show you an easy way to create beautiful animated reels in minutes for those days where you just don't want to show up on camera but you still want to post consistently. I'm Rachel, founder of Hotstock, the visual content membership for women entrepreneurs who want to stress less, save time, and show up online with confidence. Our members get exclusive access to our entire library of carefully curated stock photos, customizable Canva templates, designer branding elements, and done-for-you social media quotes. Plus, we create monthly marketing guides and social media caption prompts for members. You can find out more about Hotstock and sign up for free stock photos in the link in the description of this video. So today I'm going to show you how easy it is to create an animated reel where you can inspire or teach your audience something valuable to keep them coming back to your account. I love educational reels for this because you can showcase your product or service, you get to establish your expertise, and they're easy to automate into steps. So let's dive in. Head to Canva and open up an Instagram stories document. I've already created one, so let's start there. You'll want to set up your document by creating a new page for each step or tip in your process. You'll also want to make sure to create a cover page and an ending page with a call to action or next step that you want people to take. Once you've done that, go ahead and hit the animation button on the top menu. Then you can play around with the different animations. I like to select an animation for the cover page and then select a different animation for the tips just to add a bit of interest so that not all of the transitions are the same. So go ahead and choose the animations that you want for each one of the pages. You'll also want to choose an animation for your last page and this could be the same as your cover page or something different. Once that's done, go ahead and play with the timing of each of the pages in your animation. Your cover page should be pretty short and the tip pages can be a little bit longer, giving people enough time to actually read your tips. The final page of your animation should be long enough just so that people can read your call to action. Once you've decided on the timing of each page, you can see the total length of your video at the top. Press play to view your video and make sure you like how it looks. If you want to make any changes, you can go back and change any of the pages or transitions. Just make sure that your entire video is either 15 or 30 seconds max because that's the total length that Instagram will allow for reels. If you're happy with how the video looks and you're ready to download it, go ahead and hit download and make sure that you're downloading in MP4 video format and you download all of the pages. Then you're ready to upload to Instagram. When it comes to adding audio to your reels, you have a few options. You can add audio to your video when you upload it to Instagram by clicking on the music button in the reels menu. Or you can add audio right in Canva before you export the video by clicking on the audio element in the left hand Canva menu and searching for a track. If you want to add an, a voiceover, for example, if you want to explain the steps in your own voice for your educational reels, a great app to do this is called InShot. And let me show you how to do that. With InShot, what you want to do is open up the app and then import your Canva video. Then go to music and select record. This is where you're going to record your voiceover. Say what you need to say. And then if you are happy with it, what you want to do is just click on the check mark that pops up once your recording is done. You can also re-record if you need to. Now what you can do is adjust the voiceover as needed. You can delete parts of the voiceover or all of it and start again. You can split it up if you want to make any changes, make it shorter. Go ahead and play around with the editing until you have the voiceover exactly how you want it. When you're done, what you're going to do is press on the check mark and then you can save your video and upload it to Instagram. If you love the idea of using Canva to create Reels covers and other kinds of graphics for social media, then you'll love a Hotstock membership. 
Inside our exclusive members-only library, you'll get access to thousands of beautifully curated stock photos that you can use on social media and your website. You'll also get time-saving Canva templates that you can customize for your brand, designer branding elements, and done-for-you social media graphics. Become a Hotstock member for unlimited access. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want more marketing, branding, and graphic design tips, make sure you click the subscribe button so you don't miss a video. And if you want gorgeous free stock photos, the link is below this video. So head to our website and grab them now.